Good morning, you too. It's day one of NAB. We're trying to vlog here, but I will be filming mainly on the FX30 for a special video. That's basically NAB. Yeah, it's gonna be a fun week, fun day. This is day one, kind of to cram everything. So. We're just ready to go on the monorail. Day one's gonna be fun. I'm gonna see all the hot new stuff that's gonna be there. We're definitely making stop by the Sony booth. Definitely Sony booth. Alright, so I'm on the travel. Best way to save money if you're in Vegas is ride the monorail. And that's what we're doing. Alright, YouTube, we're here. We made it to Nab. Walking in, a lot of people. This is day one, so can't wait to see all the new stuff, new technology. But so <laughs> we'd be wrong way. So yeah, we're gonna be checking out all the new technology coming out, and we're gonna be switching to the FX30. All right, what's up, YouTube? We are here for a very special episode. Actually, a couple episodes. We are here in Vegas for NAB 2023. For the next four days, we'll be highlighting all the new technology, all the new media, everything. And I'm excited to get hands-on all the new gear, see what's, out, what's gonna be coming out. And I'm gonna show you for the first episode today, the top five things that we'll get to see at NAB. So the number one thing, the first thing about NAB that I'm excited to see is all, again, the new and most cutting edge products and technology. This year is gonna be heavy on VFX and in-camera VFX. Prime example is we got the Unreal Ride behind us showcasing in-camera VFX. Literally a person's just standing there and camera's moving around using a green screen and even a monitor behind. That's what they used in The Mandalorian if you see the behind the scenes. Apart from that, uh, this year again heavy on virtual production, in-camera VFX and Cloud Connect remote workflows. I even heard there will be a new camera being showcased here and we're gonna try to find it. I hope it's Sony. Granted, I know the ZV E1 is coming out or it should be coming out soon, so let's go. Right. So another thing I like about uh, attending NAB is the diverse multiple sessions that they offer here today. They're this Actually not only today, but the whole week. There's gonna be many educational sessions, workshops to provide attendees deaf knowledge of insights on a wide range of topics. I heard there's one gonna be make how to make vlogging easier. Um, one that's, uh, well for me, help color grade better on uh, Resolve. And I even heard there's one that, which I'm gonna be attending, is highlighting the Sony systems and the, I think the Keslo camera system that was used in Top Gun Maverick. So our first stop here at NAB is at the Lilliputh uh, booth, showcasing all their broadcasting monitors, and for us content creators, the uh, field monitors. Um, today's uh, media on YouTube and Instagram and TikTok, people are looking for that nine by 16 uh, aspect ratio, but when you're filming, a lot of people are shooting horizontal. How do you get both? There's only one other monitor I know currently on the market that does both, which is the Atmos Ninja 5. The, we found out the new HT5S by Lilliput was able to change aspect ratios while filming in horizontal. And I'll, I'll show that real quick. It's pretty cool. It, has, it can access different um, LUTs at the same time, uploading your LUTs. Um, so it's up, support 4K60. And another really awesome cool thing, it uses 
the uh, Sony NPF FZ100 battery, which we already know, we all own, most of us own, so. But yeah, this is a monitor to look out for. Um, in the few, uh, I guess they said it's already out, so I think I'm gonna be getting my hands on one of these. Like yeah, there you go. Uh, Oh, perfect. Yeah. All right, guys, here we're at our next booth. We are at Alien. They make really awesome custom cases for everything cameras, drones, monitors. And one product caught my eye is a, pro uh, is a backpack that once I showed you guys, I know you will love it too. But so this is Marshall, and he'll quickly explain who they are and what they do. All right. Well, Hello everybody, we're talking about our backpack, which basically started out as a security product. Basically a pack that you can't get into when you're wearing it, nobody can get into when you're wearing it. So the idea of that kind of ballooned into making it for photographic equipment. So it started out with the larger size where we put dividers in it. Which, that's one I, that really caught my eye. <laughs> so, this is where we started. Okay. And that kind of evolved into this idea, where we're making a, a field power Charging device. Charging kit, that's we amazing. Call it, we call it a power pack. <laughs> and the idea is we can, we're making a standard one, Mm -hmm. And then we'll have, well, you can customize it, you can do what you want. You may only want, you may only need one battery. We can do it that way. We can do it with mm -hmm. two batteries. We can do it with three batteries, we can do it with four batteries. <laughs> so you have a power source that's un unbelievable. That's you really can, good. You can attach to the exterior of the case all the different cheese plates yes. and attachment devices. So you can attach video equipment, photographic equipment, almost anything. They even showed they can attach NATO rails on the right. sides too. Correct. So oh, wow. the, the idea, it, it, it's right now, this was, is an idea. Okay. Based on the response we're seeing, this is, this is yeah. a no-brainer, I mean. So basically, we tell you what we're gonna put in. Like, you tell us what you like, want. That's the Sony batteries, the Osmo Action batteries, the gimbal batteries, the light batteries, all in one. I even get to charge. I can charge my DJI mic here too in that case that if I des when I design it. That's pretty awesome. Yep. Okay, where are you guys based out of? Davis, California. Oh, all right. Definitely gonna keep my eye on this company. You guys should too. And I may get my own backpack. We'll see. All right guys, we'll see what else Thank we can get you. into. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. For you streamers out there, check this out. It's their own version of a Steam Deck that's programmable to anything. It's only out for Windows right now, but they're coming to Mac soon. But check them out. This is their MD005. So programmable and customizable buttons. So this is the Well Buying Industrial Co. All right, guys, here we're at the next booth, Theatrix, uh, based out of Montreal. We're looking at their product, the Totem. This thing is an amazing full LED panel 
<laughs> um, you see all those huge panels from shows. This one is practically perfect for what uh, we're doing, for weddings, private events. Um, example for weddings, you know, we can do the, when we do a quick first look video, we can have that playing at the reception. Especially for videographers at receptions, um, highlight uh, quick shots from the ceremony, quickly upload it to online, and then have someone upload it to it when played at the ceremony. This is another new hot product to keep an eye out for, guys. So again, it's from Theatrix, the Totem. All right. All right, guys, we're at the next booth that caught my eye. For us that use ND filters and mist filters, this one really, I told him what I'm looking for, and it, I, I guess he reeled me in for this product, but I guess they have something called their Swift system. And this is Colson, he's gonna explain the Swift system to you guys. So, uh, we make the Swift system, uh, it sizes 67 to 95, right? And so, it starts with our, our standard one to five stop variable ND. And I didn't explain this to you earlier, but it's got the removable knob on it. I know I have a lot oh, of people who okay. like having it. So, it's a good tactile thing there. Really yeah. Nice, yeah. So we have several filters in the Swift system that are press on, they're pressure mounted, that press right on to the variable ND. And that's that's awesome. our, I added our four stop, which makes our one to five stop a five to nine. And it can also be paired with our black mist. We make one in the quarter strength and the eighth strength. Yeah. Which eighth is eighth, typically yeah. more popular. And same thing, they press right on. And we also have, if anybody's shooting with like a red and they don't have the IR, mm. that's the IR cut filter. Nice. So if, I know a lot of people like to use them for portraits and things like that. If you want to use the black mist by itself, we have an adapter, so you could use the Swift filters by themselves and just attach them to your lens. That's awesome. No, it's not magnetic. No, it's not. <laughs> I thought it was magnetic. It's pressure mounted. It's pressure mounted, so that's something that I'd love to test and try out for myself while we're running and gunning out about, but this is a product you guys definitely got to look for. So um, I'll put all their information about down below and yeah, this is a, again, the, the Swift system. So check it out. All right, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, guys, we, we made it to the Ulanzi Falcon booth. Uh, Y'all know I use all their products on the, my FX30, on my uh, GoPro, or my Osmo Action, and even my uh, ZV-1. So we're gonna check out all their new products and the products that I knew that I use uh, here at the booth. So let's check it out. All right, so one of Ulanzi's newest products that I've been eyeballing is their new MagLink strap. Um, they use almost similar to the Peak Design tabs, but what really separates them from the Peak Design is if you look at what's connected to their camera. I don't know if you guys can see that, but but that's their link right there and if you look at it how it works almost similar again like peak design goes right in magnet onto the camera that's really quick compared to the peak design link you gotta insert the circle disc into the strap and then it locks um, I know this pretty really good strong material that they're using uh, they have a thin they have thin uh, straps here but different lengths I know here of what I see but we'll definitely get a look at more of the products such like this
So another hot product that I've been watching from Ulanzi.com is their lightweight uh, tripod. Everyone knows Peak Design came out with that far car fire, but super lighter than the uh, Peak Design uh, tripod. Ultra compact, super lightweight, almost same compact form as the Peak Design uh, travel tripod, but a little cheaper and light, uh, lighter, uh, even a little bit lighter too. They even have, again, uh, the carbon fiber version, which is even a little bit more lighter than this one, but this is another hot product you guys should uh, take a look at. Good. Another product we just came across here at the Lonzi uh, booth is they have their own propriety uh, phone case camera system. It's similar to the Polar Pro Light Chaser Pro system. The Lonzi has their own version where you can use different mini filters, uh, 52 millimeter filters similar to uh, Polar Pro. To combine that with their universal rig. The universal rig can fit multiple phones that's universal and at the same time use different rigs so all right guys we are at the crystal video booth showcasing their new swift monitor this thing is pretty fancy um, right now we're filming on my iPhone because it's connected to my FX 30 it's a monitor and an external monitor but it's a wireless transmitter and receiver at the same time so Instead of buying those external uh, monitor, uh, receivers and transmitters to touch to your camera, it's already right here. This is, I think it's a game changer because I haven't seen anything like this apart from buying an external wire, uh, wireless transmitter and receiver. Um, so as you can see, it's connected to my FX30 with, uh, with a transmitter and that's already the monitor right there to replace the other monitor while it's wirelessly feeding to an ex another monitor. So. If I have my DP with me um, pulling focus, he already has a monitor for himself. These do run on the Sony battery, so I don't need to change anything with batteries, but yeah, definitely uh, gonna look out for this. He does, he says it does come with handles, which that makes it more uh, ergonomic to carry on the field, but definitely this is an, uh, a product to look out for. Oh, there. Yeah, definitely a product to look out for. So definitely easy for ergonomics when you're on the field out day long shoots. So but yeah, again, this is the Swift 5.5 monitor kit. It does support uh, 4K. Um, it has an ultra latency of less than 70, 800 feet. That, for my other YouTube channel, that's perfect for when we're on the range, guys. So um, HDMI. Oh, you can even import and upload your own LUTs. So when, uh, when I'm using FX30, I can use some already the LUTs that I own. Um, dual support NFP batteries, light, very lightweight, but yeah, definitely, I'm gonna definitely look more into this. And again, we're at the CW uh, Crystal Video Booth. Check out their Swift 5.5 wireless monitor kit. All right, y'all, we're in the middle of day one. I feel like we've seen a lot, but we're about to take a break. Uh, find something to eat and then come back later tonight but overall everything is looking dope from what I've seen and you guys are gonna see some awesome new technology that we've got our hands on stay tuned I recommend it for me to try this place they have, they have plenty of locations in Vegas though. yeah checking out Shake Shack got the Shake Shack burger with bacon Give an honest review on this burger place. We'll see. Alright, you two. The end of day one of NAB. Heading back to the hotel. And we'll do it again tomorrow.